Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blogger. And in this video, I will show you how you can use the bicolor select selection tool in GIMP. So, bicolor select selection tool is a really unique and important tool, and you must know how to use it. And what it basically does is that it is designed to select areas of an image based on color similarity. So what will happen is the tool selects all pixels that are sufficiently similar in color to the pixel you click on regardless of where they are located in the image. So let me just demonstrate you how the bicolor select selection tool works and I have with me this image right now and as you can see I have two colors on this image one is black and one is yellow and using the bicolor selection tool by color select selection tool i can actually you know do a lot of things so let me just quickly first add an alpha channel to my image and now let me just go to tools selection tools and select by color selection tool by color select selection tool and uh, so let me just quickly show you a couple of demos so i have the by color select selection tool selected as you can see this is the symbol of bicolor select selection tool or select bicolor tool and if i just click on the black color on the image all the black color on the image will get selected if i just quickly press on delete they would be deleted and let me just quickly undo and now let me just select the yellow color on the image and all the yellow color present on the image will get selected and again if I just quickly press on delete as you can see all the yellow color got deleted you can place some other color inside this portion so if I just quickly go to foreground color and select probably this color right here let me just click on ok let me just go to edit and select fill with foreground color as you can see I changed the color of my arrow from yellow to something else and similarly again let me just click on the black color and again let me just go to the foreground color and select some other color let me just click on ok and select let me just click on edit and select fill with foreground color so what I really wanted to show you is that using the select by color tool or by color select tool you can click on any color on the image and the same color which is present on the other parts of the image will get automatically selected and uh, according to me the most you will be using this tool is for uh, making the image transparent so what I mean by that is if I just quickly undo everything and uh, mostly I have my YouTube channel right here so while designing YouTube thumbnails like these I place one image on the left side and one image on the right side and I, I have this arrow present in the middle so this is the same arrow which I use while designing those thumbnails and um, let me just click on the black color let me just click on delete and now let me just click on select and none and now what I really do is I go to edit copy and I have another image right here and I go to edit and paste as a new layer so as you can see what I generally do while designing thumbnails like this is I take the left image place it right here I take the right image place it right here and then on top of both those two images I place my um, uh, arrow so this is the arrow which I place on both those two images but my arrow image originally was not like this my arrow image originally was like this so I use the color by select tool or select by color tool to remove this black color and I add an alpha channel so that I get the transparent image and I can place on top of the two images um, to get a thumbnail like this. So
so that's it guys this is all i wanted to share with you in this video um do share with me your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching